Hey guys, for today's shave, I'll be using Panna Crema Nuevia Blue. Coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host John, aka Lather Hog, and for today's shave, uh, the goal is to kind of um, shake things up a little bit, switch things up, uh, maybe do a little refresh as far as what I've been using in terms of gear. For those of you who have watched the channel for a while now, or at least seen more than one video, uh, you guys might know I generally favor artisan shave soaps. So I did want to mix things up a little bit. So we're gonna go with Panacrema Nuevia Blue, and this here is a Italian soap. Just shifting to a European soap, one that uh, is, is pretty much a cream and that I don't lather from the actual tub itself. Um, you know, shifting to bowl lathering, that's another thing I don't typically do. Uh, you should see me face lather uh, on the channel, so doing some bowl lathers is another way I'm mixing things up. Now I have used this one before via sample, but I'm pretty sure I've never actually used this tub. You can see, uh, I believe there's some vanillin in the soap, so it's oxidized. Um, off the top of the jar, you can see here, it's super dark, but it's funny enough, a little bit of soap got you know, caught on the lid here, and that's kind of the typical soap. So my impressions off the top is this is kind of a old school classic masculine scent. I do believe it's classified as a citrus spicy, and as I mentioned, uh, it's, it, it is a very soft product, so I'll probably just be taking this amount here on the lid and bowl lathering it today. And another note about Panna Crema is uh, this was uh, a line that I discovered last year, 2020, and really fell in love with it. I, I think it was during you know, like a European soap week or something like that, but um, really enjoyed this line of products. There's four different scents. I wound up picking them all up <laughs> you know, over, over the course of a few months, but blue was the last one I picked up. Uh, I had the opportunity to sample these, uh, as I mentioned before. I think some friends who had the various scents sent me a little sample, so it wasn't a total blind buy. Blue is, well actually, you know, I, I'm not sure what ranks. It's been a while, but uh, the colors are the blue, red, green, and black. And maybe I'll be able to tell you kind of where this place is, because I do like green and black, both a very colony, fresh, contemporary scent. Uh, this one though, I think this one might be uh, overall a winner for those into wet shaving and never tried Panna Crema. I think that's something about that old school vibe that will really appeal to most wet shavers out there. Now while there's a line of matching aftershave bombs for the Panna Crema Nuevia products, I don't have the matching one for blue, but you know what this scent really reminds me of is Aqua de Parma Colonia. So very classic Italian barbershop. And you know, so what better to pair with it than fine Italian citrus? So that's what we were going with the aftershave today. Now to further mix things up for my brush today, I'm going with something that uh, I've never used on camera before, but I've used for like two, three shaves at most. And that is this boar brush right here from Zenith. And this is, I think, the Zenith Scrubby, uh, which just means it's usually a very tall knot, kind of like uh, the Omega bore brushes, but this one was set a little deeper uh, so that it would be scrubbier, give a little bit more backbone. Um, it's not necessarily my favorite brush, but I, this is definitely still in the break-in period. And again, I don't really use bore much, although it was my go-to when I started out wet shaving. Uh, I was just curious, I had always heard good things about Zenith. This is a, I wanna say it's a 28 millimeter bore brush, maybe 26. And lastly for the razor, nothing too crazy here, gotta keep some amount of stability. <laughs> We're gonna go with from Carve, this is the Christopher Bradley uh, brass, and it is, this is polished by me using some flits. So I've polished away the, the matte finish. So it's nice and shiny. This is the plate, the C plate, and it is loaded with a Gillette Nasset blade. Oh yeah, and for the shaving bowl, just in case for those of you curious, I don't use a lot of shaving bowls, although I have four or five different options. Uh, this one's one of my favorite, the Pereira shaving bowl, unbreakable. Not, you know, not too heavy at all. Um, really like the performance. You can see kind of the different, the nubs and the, the stripes inside really help agitate the lather and aerate it. Uh, one thing that's, I guess the con my main con about this shaved bowl right here is those nubs and the lines. It can make it kind of tricky to get like all the, 
you know, all the remnants of your soap or cream. Uh, as I'm chatting here, I'm pressing in the little bit of blue that we're going with, Nuevia Blue. Yeah, it smells good. Definitely, as I press it, actually, I get a little bit more of that spice um, popping from, uh, from the sample. So we'll be lathering in this guy today. I'm working with about three days worth of beard growth here. I think very visible. Oh, and I finally got that haircut uh, this morning. So man, it was getting really crazy. No amount of product or whatever was really taming my hair, um, which gets wavier and curlier the longer it gets. So feeling fresh and clean and now just to shave to complete that, you know, complete that feeling. Before moving on, please do all the YouTube things. If you like this video and you enjoy the content on this channel, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider becoming a subscriber to the channel. All right, so the lather is going and I think we're gonna transfer over and do some face lathering because why not? But you can see I put about maybe like a quarter size, maybe a little bit, little bit more than a quarter size worth of soap in here, plenty to go with. Um, I did call this, you know, a cream before, uh, but I do think it, it's it's still more of that crope cream soap kind of texture. It's there's a little bit more to it than a super light soft cream. So, you know, just want to make sure I'm giving you guys the right information. I need to wet my face here as well. Apologies to those who uh, get triggered by running water. I usually try to edit it out, but. It just so happened. Given that I don't normally bowl lather for my videos, some of the steps and procedures are a little different for today's shave. But let's talk a little bit about the scent breakdown here, as there are actually quite quite a complex list of notes to share. Let me throw that up on the screen right now. Again, I did mention the general vibe of Nuevia Blue is a citrus spicy, it's kind of old school. And now that I've lathered it up for sure, it gives me, uh, it, it definitely reminds me of that Italian citrus kind of scent. As far as old school scents, I really do love Aqua de Parma or any, you know, kind of clones, dupes, smell alikes. It's a really nice, clean, masculine scent with a pop of citrus. But yeah, let me, let me share it with a little bit more. Um, and kind of the reason why I wanted to shake things up. Really just to keep me engaged and interested is what it comes down to. But also, you know, I, I don't only use artisan soaps. It is the majority of what I use. But you know, I almost bought this Nuevia Blue a year ago and still hadn't used the actual tub. So I want to be sure to make, make room for the products that I have. And overall, in terms of software and hardware, I've kind of come to a point where I'm pretty content with what I have. I've recently, uh, as you guys know, uh, who have watched the most recent videos, I was trying to see if the Timeless Slim Titanium was a razor I wanted to keep. Turns out it wasn't, I moved it on. And actually at the, around the same time, I moved on uh, a bunch of other things, uh, some brushes, some high-end brushes that just weren't really being used much. Um, also some colognes that, uh, I, as you guys also sold off some colognes because I bought a bunch of new ones and it only seemed right to move on ones that really don't get much use currently. Even my shaving software, soaps and aftershaves, um, I'm always trying to thin down whether I'm giving them away or selling them in little bundles and stuff. I'm trying to clear stuff just cause as much as I love collecting things, I also don't really like clutter. So those two things, there's always a, there's a push and pull between those two, those two desires. But it's been really freeing letting go of many of those things. And I hope I can push myself to further, you know, further uh, do some purging in my shave den. It's also funny to observe just by switching to a bore brush it really behaves differently for both how I lather uh, with synths as well as badgers. Overall, I think my, my lather is not as, not as dense as I would like, but 
I think we're at a good enough point where we can get into the shave. All right, so let's go in for the first pass with the car of Christopher Bradley, plate C. Yeah, so I will, uh, I will admit, not my best looking lather. But it's doing the job. Also, looks like I dug in a little too hard in my chin right here. So you'll see some, uh, I believe the proper term is weeper. It's not a full on Nick, <laughs> but I don't know. There's all the, all, you know, there's weepers, Nicks, cuts, scrapes. Right, so here I am lathering up for the second pass. And I will say, you know, as far as this bore brush goes, I did get two or three uses in, and generally, it's been too scrubby for me, and using it for this shave, I still feel the same way. I, I, don't, I don't love this brush. While I'm not trying to, you know, crap on the whole category of bore brushes, I, I would just say this particular bore brush is not really for me. It is too scrubby, even in just applying this lather. If I go too long with the face lather, it, it, it becomes, it feels a little irritated. So I kind of was not really excited to use this brush in other shaves. Kind of forgot, you know, what exactly was the deal. And now as I'm going through the shave today, I'm reminded. I mean, it's called Big Scrubby. It's not like, you know, there was not false advertising with how they named this brush. And sometimes I think I should have just used the normal, uh, instead of the one that's set lower into the handle, I should have just gone for the one that's had a, a higher loft and ease up on the ease up on the scrub. So in general, if you guys are looking, are, are brush hunting, brush shopping, no matter what the hair is, usually a lower loft of the hair will yield more backbone and more scrub. And here we go for pass number two. Another reason the neck might have happened is despite um, despite the car being a you know normally regularly used razor of mine, I don't think I've paired it with the Gillette Nasset, which I find to be a sharper blade. And I just also just came down on my chin at too too sharp of an angle. Just goes to show you, I do have my Nick Free shaves, but I still, you know, I still catch myself every now and then. All right, so we had, I would say we had an informative shave. I've definitely had better shaves, <laughs> both on camera and off camera. Before we get into the wrap up, I have to make sure I apply the fine Italian citrus. This will probably uh, cause <laughs> some stinging on where, you know, where I got myself on the chin right here. That's mostly because Fine aftershaves are pretty much just alcohol and fragrance. Yup, definitely got some of that burn slash stinging. Nothing too bad though. As far as you know, complimentary scent wise, yeah, this is this was definitely the right cho choice to go. As far as finding a 
as finding something that went well with Nuevia Blue. All right, now to share some final thoughts as we're winding things down. Uh, as far as the soap goes, Nuevia Blue, I'm glad I'm finally able to use you know, the actual tub. Um, I'll be trying to do this a little bit more using gear, not just your know, brand new gear, but there's, there's gear that I haven't recorded before, even things that have been discontinued, um, or just, just different, just different from American Artisan shave soaps. So if you kind of like, you know, covering the you know, more variety of things, let me know what are some of the things, you know, whether it's a general category or a specific product, if it's a Euro like a European soap or something else, um, knowing what you guys want to see at home would help me you know, pick and choose what to feature here on the channel. But Nuevia Blue, I think is a great entry point if you've been curious about Panna Crema, uh, old school, masculine, spicy citrus, very nice and matched very well with fine Italian citrus. Not too much to say about the razor as far as just being more careful with that NASA blade paired with a razor I have not used it in, in, in before or haven't used in a while. But let's talk about this Zenith brush right here. So while I am not a fan of this guy and I'll probably be moving this on, I will say if you are looking for a super scrubby, um, not rough, it's not harsh, but it's very scrubby and a very dense bore brush and you've tried, you know, uh, all the offerings from Omega and from Samog. I mean, those really are the main two um, bore brush suppliers, but I would say try the Zenith. Uh, this one, again, a lot of backbone, but there is one that's not the quote unquote big scrubby uh, that has a higher loft. Give that, you know, definitely consider that one. I'll, I'll try to leave links uh, in the description below so you can peruse that stuff. Again, you know, this is, I don't get a cut of that. I'm just trying to steer you guys, um, especially you board brush lovers, in the right direction if you're looking for something new to try. One other thing I'm trying to do is to get in some more shaves off camera. Times where I can just observe for myself um, or even just carve out time for myself but I still catalog those things. I take photos of those shave of the days. And if you're curious at all, kind of what I'm doing in between videos, please give me a follow over at Latherhog on Instagram. Also, if you're looking for uh, a wet shaving community, I want to just invite you guys to come check out the Lather Talk Discord. The easiest way to get there is just check out lathertalk.com and you'll find a link to go there. It's absolutely free. Uh, we talk about all things, not just wet shaving, and we'd love to have you stop by and check out the place. And that's gonna do it for today's shave, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.